Hello and welcome to Dartside Scenics. In this video I'll be running through the process of using Woodland Scenics Deep Pool Water. There are lots of different types of resin products on the market, but this is the one I always seem to see in local model shops. In the box there are cups with some measuring stickers, some stirring sticks, some gloves, a sealable bag, water base and activator. To seal the model I use Woodland Scenics Water Undercoat. I tend to stick with the Woodland Scenics products for this because I know they won't react with the resin. If you have rocks and debris on the riverbed, use Woodland Scenics Scenic Glue to put them in place. When that's dry you can seal everything in place with Scenic Cement. For this diorama I need a dam at either end so I use some plastic sheeting held into place with Scenic Glue. Masking tape helps to hold it in place while the glue dries. I add another layer of glue on the joint to make absolutely sure nothing can leak. After reading the instructions I can pop onto the online volume estimator to check how much resin I need. The mix is two parts base to one part activator. I need all of the resin in this pack, so while you can measure out specific amounts, there's no need for me to measure this time. The water base and activator are popped into a bag, and then as much air as possible is removed before sealing. A bowl of hot water is required as the water base and the activator need to sit in there for around 10 minutes. Remove the bottles from the bag and then rock them back and forth for around 5 seconds. Before the bottles are opened you can put on the safety gloves. Gently pour in the water base. If you're only using a certain amount, use the guide on the side of the cup. Next, pour in the applicator. You can see from this side view how the products separate from each other. Stir gently to avoid introducing too many bubbles. You need to do this for 5 minutes. Cover the top of the cup and let stand for 5 minutes. Stir again for a further 5 minutes and then it's ready to pour. Ensuring the diorama is on a level surface, gently pour the resin into the required areas. The stirring stick can be used to help blend the resin in with the riverbank. I usually find that bubbles appear after 10 or 20 minutes, so I use a blowtorch to remove them. You need to be very careful at this point that the blowtorch doesn't come into contact with anything else on the model. The blowtorch only needs a millisecond on the affected area to remove the bubbles. Cover the model to avoid anything falling into it and then leave it for 24 hours. After 24 hours you can remove the dam and peel off the excess glue. There will be a slight lip at either end but you can just use a sharp knife to remove it. Although this isn't a Woodland Scenics product, I find that Gloss Mod Podge works really well for water ripples. The glue is stippled on using a brush and then to create the ripple effect you can blow through a straw. The Mod Podge can take 24 hours or more to become transparent. 